Now take a nice deep breath in. Yep. Good. 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 Everything seems normal. You are certainly making good progress. Uh, Post-surgery is typically the most critical, so what I would need you to do is make sure to stick to your meds and drink plenty of water. Who? Larry? He's the best. He saved me from death's door so many times. So many attempts on my life. Shootout, shakedown, so many close calls. Who would have thought it was going to be sickness that took me down? And this book that you are writing, you give a chapter to him all on his own. It's a very spiritual man. Not a, Not bad, a bad bone, bone in his, his body. body. If I've heard it once, I've heard it a million times. So I uh, forgot to tell you that uh, Carla is writing a book about me and my uh, career in the mob. Did you know you were saving the life of a high-profile gunman? Every life, good or bad, has value. Purpose. Doc, uh, why don't you uh, stay for dinner? We've got the whole family coming over. They'd all like to meet you. Oh, yes, please do. They've heard so much about you. Uh, uh, come on. The, the wife went down to Arthur Avenue, and she got some really good prosciutto. I know. I, I really would. It's just today is the anniversary of my father's passing. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. Some other time? Robert, let's talk about how you got involved with the mob. Where did it all start? I was working for my cousin Tommy to earn a little extra coin. He had just gotten out of the pen. He had a score to settle. Well, someone he needed to knock off. Not just anybody. A cop. One that had uh, been on our tail. It was hard to shake. changed after that night. My first hit was a cop, and they respected me for that. Looking back, it wasn't respect, it was fear. We dealt with cops, drug lords, we controlled the city. Afterward, anybody stood in my way, we made them disappear. It was all going well until a rival family killed my son. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. I decided to quit it all. I took a plea deal in exchange for the protection of my family. making decisions for myself and started making decisions for the ones that matter most. It's been 10 years, it's never been better. Has it really been 10 years? I'm so proud of you, man. Look at all you've achieved. One of the top doctors in the country. Everybody looks up to you. My kids look up to you. Thanks. I really couldn't have done it without you. Time flies so fast. I still remember the day of the incident. I still remember the day my father died. Robin Laurel, the infamous general contractor. You're back at it again, huh?
There's been something I want to tell you, man. Something I've been trying to tell you for a long time. And I haven't had the courage to do it. You know that guy, Robert, the gang, the mobster, who you've been treating this whole time? He's the same gunman who shot your father. I know. You know? <laughs> and, and you've treated him all this time? My father always wanted me to become a doctor. He wanted more for me. Family first, he always said. You trade one life for another? Where's it end? 